Hey students, today I'll be telling you what do you mean by work energy theorem. So what is work? We all know work is something force multiplied by displacement and we also take what cos theta where theta is the angle between force and displacement and which kind of energy here we are talking about note down only kinetic energy yes yes only kinetic energy what is kinetic energy half m v square so what is work energy theorem how is work and kinetic energy related to each other are they related yes they are okay let me give you the first definition work done is equal to change in kinetic energy this is work energy theorem yeah yeah that's it this is the work energy theorem work done is equals to change in kinetic energy okay let us try to understand this thing suppose there is some block which is already moving with a very small speed okay very slowly and i apply a force on it and displace it for some displacement when i apply force and displace it i have done i have done work where does this work goes when i do the work i have put in my energy inside the block where has this energy gone you will notice that when i will apply the force the speed of block will increase because my energy has gone into the block now block will increase its kinetic energy so whatever work i have done has changed into kinetic energy so work done work done is equals to final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy okay let us take a numerical example okay very simple example i will take not too much of confusion over there just a simple example okay suppose the block we were talking about is over here and this block has a mass 1 kg it is already moving okay it is already moving with a speed of 10 meter per second u always denotes the initial speed the starting speed i apply a force on it okay i apply a force and i keep applying the force keep applying the force i keep pushing it i keep pushing it over this distance or this displacement and then i remove the force now till the time period i am applying force its speed will be increasing and suppose the speed has now become 20 meter per second the mass will still remain 1 kg now the question is what is the work done now on the primary level you will say work done is equals to simple what force into displacement fine but here we don't have force we don't have displacement how are we going to find the work we will use work energy theorem work done is equals to change in kinetic energy this is work energy theorem whatever work i have done has gone to change the kinetic energy so i will write kinetic energy final minus kinetic energy initial okay now the formula for kinetic energy formula for kinetic energy we have discussed this half mv square so finally the kinetic energy half 
into m is 1 kg and the final velocity is 20 so 20 squared minus initial half into 1 that is the mass and what is the initial velocity 10 so 10 squared so this will be 400 divided by 2 200 minus 100 divided by 2 which is 50 and this will come out to be 150 joules yeah that's it that's the work done the work done is 150 joule without knowing force without knowing displacement you have calculated work this is the magic of work energy theorem let me explain you in some different way suppose suppose a ball is coming towards me and i'm going to catch that ball okay i'm going to catch that ball i'm going to stop that ball that ball is coming with some speed towards me i try to stop the ball i apply force like this and the ball displaces my hand like this so there is a force and there is a displacement yes and after some time the ball will stop yes so the kinetic energy of ball has changed because of the work done wait now you will say the kinetic energy has decreased initially the ball was moving was ball was moving with a high speed and finally it has stopped so the kinetic energy has decreased so this final kinetic energy will be zero and the initial will be high so the change in kinetic energy in that case will be negative but wait a minute the work done is also negative i applied the force like this and the ball displaces my hand like this the force is over here and the displacement is over here so the work done force into displacement into cos 180 what is the angle 180 and cos 180 is minus 1 yes work energy theorem works even when the kinetic energy decreases so this is so simple and so basic law of physics work energy theorem whatever work you do whether positive or negative will result in change in kinetic energy i draw this pen like this okay when i drop it its speed increases when it goes down yes or no yes the speed increases that means there is a change in kinetic energy okay so who is doing the work gravity gravity is pulling it the force of gravity is acting downwards and it is displacing in the downward direction so gravity is pulling it in the downward direction and doing the work which results in increase in the kinetic energy so this is the summary of work energy theorem work done is equals to change in kinetic energy now you will say where is the proof why should we believe it okay so i'll give you the proof too you got to believe me i have the proof no no i'm not lying there's a proof and the proof is okay let us go from right hand side change in kinetic energy is equals to kinetic energy final minus kinetic energy initial fine so it will be half m v square where v is the final velocity minus half m u square where u is the initial velocity so i am going to take m common and say v square minus u square by 2 fine can I multiply the denominator and the numerator with a common term? Yes, of course. So I multiply it with A. Sorry, divide it with A and also multiply it with A. Any problem? No. A over here, A over here, which will be cancelled. Now notice this term M into A. What is M A? Force. Force is mass into acceleration. And what is this? V square minus U square upon 2A. Remember the equations of motion, V square minus U square is equal to 2AS. Yes, we do. So, 
v square minus u square upon 2a is nothing but displacement. So this term is displacement. Now force into displacement is my friend work done. Proved? Okay. So now you are happy. So this is work energy theorem and this is very important and a very basic concept. You should always know this. Thank you.